In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a resume or CV using Microsoft Word. So as you can see, I have created this. So we are going to create one exactly the same thing using Microsoft Word. Launch Microsoft Word by um, going to your search and type Word. So you click on it. You click on blank document. You can see that the rulers are not showing. If they are not showing on yours, go to the view tab. Select the ruler. Then you go to layout. Select page layout, which is A4. Margins. Narrow margin. Go to insert and select table. Just pick one cell. That is enough. Then you start typing. Hold down your shift and press enter. Type your address and your email with your phone numbers. Highlight and uh, format it. Increase the font size. Then you highlight the address as well as the email and phone number. Select um, that font size. Then you centralize it. Shift Enter. Press your tab key on your keyboard. The space is too big, so clear the formatting. Press tab. Type objective. Tab key. Another tab key. Then you type your objective. Your tab key. Tap key again for a space, then career summary. Your tap key again. Tap key for a space. Then you type your skills. Another tap key. Tap key for a space. You press the tap key again. We don't need the bullet, you just clear it off. So the professional experience. Tap key also. Another one for a space. So this time around, we need two columns. Split cell. Two columns. One row. So you drag it to a reasonable position. So you start typing your experience. Type the company. So we merge the cells because we don't need the column anymore. Then you you type your experiences here. Press your tab key. So we don't need that. You clear it off. 
press your tab key again then you split the cell again two columns one row then you drag it to your right so you type another company as well as the responsibility and location press tab key again so we don't need that cell you highlight and merge the cells so you type your responsibilities go for bullet then you type Press your tab key again. We don't need that. You clear it off. Another tab key. Your education. Tab key for a space. Another tab key. So you type your qualifications here. We split the cells. You drag it to the same position. Let it align with the others. So you type. The school. As well as the place where you schooled. Your tab key. You merge this. We don't need uh, two sets anymore. So So we are done. So now you just, um, it's time for us to format everything. You know, you go for the heading. You take 14 and make it bold. Then for the body, we, I think 11 is okay for me. Then we can highlight all the headings at once and make them bold as well as changing their sizes to 14. Just hold down your control key as you are highlighting everything. So you select 14. Then you make them bold. So as you can see, uh, we still need to make this the company board. You can change this to italic and uh, reduce the font size. Do the same thing to this row. Board. Italic. So now we are done with the test. Okay, we can just let me change this to italic also. Or indent it. Let me indent this. It's time for us to remove all the borders but before that i just want to apply some colors you double click to bring out the properties so now you can change the color of any of the cells that you want select any color of your choice click any cell 
that you want to change the color. So as simple as this. Okay, so now that we are done applying colors, it's time for us to remove all these border lines. We only really used them to demarcate or to arrange our work. So it's time for us to get rid of it. Double click on that small icon. Then you go to um, borders. Double click on it. Go to borders and select no border. So as you can see, we have succeeded in creating an astonishing resume. So we are done. Um, the next thing is for us to export it and convert it to PDF. That's it. So it's time for us to export this to PDF format. Click the file export create pdf give it a name of your choice publish so we are done that is it if you have any question you can leave a comment below thanks for watching